Hey everyone, um, my name is Ty uh, and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick registration on a pair of leather shoes. Um, loafers that I got from my uncle. He asked me to uh, get them fixed up, you know, polished up. He just told me to do whatever to uh, put it back in shape and whatnot. So yeah, I want to show you guys a quick tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial, how to, uh, you know, kind of get a deep clean out of this, you know, um, yeah, deep clean and then go through a conditioning process and how to maintain it in the long term and what you can do with it, just for my knowledge. And uh, yeah, it will be a quick uh, process tutorial and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So stay tuned. I give you guys a close up of the shoes as you can see it's like quite scuffed up and yeah it's probably been a long time since he's worn it I mean he's you know got it cleaned up or not I don't think he ever got it cleaned up to be honest a lot of creasing and yeah these are this is like definitely a genuine leather type of shoe so yeah, I, I want to start with like a deep wash uh, deep clean with like a, maybe a soft brush, more like a sensitive brush because I don't want the leather to bleed just in case, then maybe not. And uh, if, 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 if the stain doesn't go out, then we'll go in with a medium brush and you know, and so on. And yeah, shouldn't be too much of a problem and then we'll uh, hit with decreases and yeah, we'll move on to the conditioning tutorial afterward as well. Okay, so uh, let's begin the process of cleaning the shoes. Um, so uh, I got some, you know, some water ready. Uh, some hot water. I usually like something a little bit hot. Just so, I don't know, it's just more fitting. And uh, this is the solution that I use. It's uh, angeless and it works for all these materials, suede, leather, bark, rubber, etc. And this is like my go-to. Like it doesn't. You can also use like um, I guess like different like household soap as well and stuff like that. That works as well. It just uh, I I prefer to use something that's made specially for shoes. And like this one doesn't really have a lot of smell and stuff like that. So it's very neutral. That's what I like about it. But yeah, let's uh, pour this into the our bowl over here. Just a little bit, I think too much. I'll set it aside and let's get cleaning. Mix it all up. See how it's steaming? I feel like when you <laughs> use hot water a little bit, like the um, how do you say, it? like it kind of clean the dirt better, you know what I'm saying? It's like washing your dishes. So, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in with the, uh, you know, light brush. It's like a round brush. It's really easy to handle and then, yeah, since it's like a delicate material, so let's just test with the light brush first. Look at that. We just gonna type. Uh, we just gonna wipe it off with the clean towel. All right. So yeah, already it already looks a little bit better. Um, there's still like a lot of these tough stain over here, it's like black mark. It comes from um, you know, wearing outside with oil and stuff like that. You know, like it's many different factors. So it's like a quite a big mark. So in these cases we can try to go in with um, a little bit more tougher brush so I'm like a medium bristle brush right here I usually use this one, this one is good um, yeah let's try it out so yeah like it does look a lot better but it looks like we'll probably have to uh, repaint the whole shoes to uh, get all the cracks and all the nitty gritty in here out you know so yeah, I'll just uh, continue to clean inside 
and out the shoes make sure it has because uh, it's very important for you to clean the inside of the shoes as well because over a amount of time it accum uh, the bacteria accumulates from your sweat you know uh, from whatever dirt and stuff like that so you know it's very important to clean inside and plus it smells good right so you know what I'm saying? So why not? You just enjoy these clean shoes, so you just gotta go with the extra step to make sure it's proper. Alright, so I'm gonna clean, I took out the insole, so I'm gonna clean the insole. Now, same thing. Round and round and round. gonna go clean the inside of the shoes using this toothbrush right here um yeah it's just hard to reach inside so this is the best tool to use I would say so yeah we just uh, put it in here and we go side to side motion for the top part and the side part you just gotta dig in and deep you know Just uh, make sure you uh, take out the, all the water once you clean it because uh, an excessive of water, I think, to leather it can really like lower the quality and kind of like soak into it. So we do not want that. Back to the second step. Which this is the decreasing step um, so we just finished cleaning the upper and the interior of the shoes which is the you know the brush and the solution so now we want to decrease the shoes so three things you need is iron here already hot ready to go we need a wet towel you know soak in the water and just squeeze it and uh, we need some stuffing, you know, like dumpling stuffing, but towels instead. So, we want to the side. What we're gonna do is you stuff the shoes in, kind of maxi maximize its capacity, the volume inside, with towels. When I first learned this trick, it like literally blew my mind. Like I don't know why, but it was really cool. So shout out all the YouTubers that already done this and you know taught me the tricks so I can show you guys. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that one's the pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, make sure like any area where it's like super creased you wanna stop it heavy so it pops it out. That alright. So yeah, that's popped out. Good. So now we go in for the towel on top. This. Just cover it on top like that. Alright. And you take the iron over here and you just uh, iron the area where you wanna you know flatten it out. You can go like circular, you know, make make sure it's like you're hitting, hitting the right spot. I just basically go all all over the toe box, and uh, yeah, for like uh, 10 seconds each area, I would say, 10 to 15. I hope you guys can hear this theme because I feel like as a watcher, you probably think the noises that produce from this whole thing is probably satisfying because. I like watching a lot of shoes YouTuber who does like ASMR and shit. I'm like I don't know, it's just such a vibe, man. Like I sit there and watch that shit for hours. ASMR is a trippy thing. I remember first discovering it like a while back when it was popping, and I was like, "What the fuck? Like, whoa! This is like, it's almost like we have the same brain, right? We all enjoy that shit. It's weird, man." <laughs> Like my favorite is the, like video of cat purring. Oh my god, I can't get enough of that. I'm gonna be straight up right now. 
All right, so I think uh, we kind of good for now. We was able to, um, you know, penetrate that area where the interior in area of your foot, and that's where the majority of the creasing is gonna be. The final step. So I was mentioning earlier how um, you're probably gonna have to repaint all the, the shoes itself because a lot of these marks are like permanent damages. So this one, these right here, as you can see, like. So there's really no way of like kind of like removing them unless you have to paint over. So for painting, as far as I know, um, I did a lot of customization before. So getting the color to match up is probably the most important part of the whole process, I would say. And um, yeah, so here are all the um, ingredients, all the material that we need. So. We have over here, we have, you know, flat white uh, Angelus paint, very useful, uh, cream color. This is probably, these are probably the only two colors that I think we would need um, for this, uh, for the matchup. And so I have like, uh, you know, small cup of water, a mixing cup, and some Acetone. Acetone is good to um, you know clean the leather, wipe it over before you paint on it. So in terms of mixing color, I just kind of like just do it and <laughs> just kind of add adjust it as I go. So in this case, this shoe looks pretty creamy. So I'll probably do like half cream, half white to start with. Um, I have a testing shoe that I test my color on, so preferably a white shoe or so anywhere, you know, anything you can use, you want to use to test the color, that's very important, just so you don't, you know, mess it up, and stuff like that. Add a little bit, add a little bit, this one is a little bit thick. Just a little bit, test it out, see how we feel, see how we don't feel, you know. So you don't want to waste too much paint on stuff that for just testing, you know. Alright, a little bit of thin there, just a little bit. There you go. So now we mix it up. There we go, here's the color. So I'll show you guys real quick. This is my testing shoes. So I just paint whatever on top just to test it out and see if the color works for the current shoes I'm trying to paint it out on and stuff like that. So we we'll just test it out. Maybe a little bit more white, I don't know. And see where it goes. Like around 50% white, 50% cream. And uh, the color turned out pretty good. Okay, so we got the color down. That's the hardest part. Now we will hit the shoes with some acetone. What that would do is like I said, it will clear up the layers, the factory protectant that they apply for the shoes. And so that exposes the paint uh, under and that's where the layer we want to be able to apply our paint on. And after that, we will also apply our own protectant as well. So yeah, essentially the same step. But yeah. For the acetone, it's very important that you use a mask um, when you, uh, you know, use it for any case because it's like, uh, it's like a toxic uh, 
you know, chemicals and stuff like that. So just uh, go the extra step, put on a mask, and put on some gloves too as well. Take some common balls. And use the, yeah, just kind of like gently rub all over the shoes. You don't want to stay in one area for too long. Making sure that the amount of time you spent throughout the shoes is uniform. I think my acetone just punctured through these gloves. These are some weak ass gloves, man. Okay, anyway, you use your gloves. This time I'm just going to use my hand. Because, you know. It is what it is. That so I just finished acetoning the shoes, and yeah, like it feels pretty good. So now we let it sit for a little bit of time, and yeah, uh, we were gonna we'll be able to go into it with uh, the paint, and we do it like uh, we're probably gonna do like you know roughly um, maybe two to three layers. I say three layers. I usually just like number three and. That will probably be an up coat, and so let's get into it. Just make sure you don't hit the stitching too much. Otherwise, it would just look very unnatural because all the shoes are going to be the same color. the shoes itself. So here is some material that I use for conditioning the mink oil. Right here, mink oil. I got this from a shoes repairing store. I don't remember the name of it, but it's very useful for uh, leather. Just like make it very smooth and kind of like soak into the, the creases of the leather itself and make it very soft. And it's recommended to use make oil once in a while for your shoes to maintain the, the softness and kind of like train the leather to become uh, to last longer. Another uh, material that I use is the leather, leather sheen which is kind of roughly the same it like kind of protects and condition the leather the material and kind of make it more flexible and stuff like that so um, I just decided to uh, to use both of these products because two is better than one, right? So some of this on the uh, your cloud and apply it on the shoes itself. But I just prefer to use it, put on my glove and just kind of massaging my hand, like you know, just regular massaging, you know what I mean? 
Do we just go like this? A little bit on there. And you just go for it. So yeah, you notice that this gives it like, like a nice shine. Just think of this as like a, you know, someone and someone you love, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, you want to give them a nice massage after they had a long day. Yeah, so, <laughs> essentially the same thing, right? Once you, uh, we apply the make oil, we're going to go in with the lovely sheen right on top. Just a little bit. This one I would prefer to use some towel. It would make the job a lot easier. So, we just grab... We'll just use this one. We'll just use this one right here. Got some power here on top. Okay. Put a bit on there. We'll just go for it. Initially, the insole seems a little bit dry, so maybe I'll try to apply some. Leather sheet on here because it's also made of leather, so why not? Let's try it. Oh, that works. Yeah, that works. Give it, like, give it like a little softness. Okay. So, yeah, basically the shoe is done. What we're gonna do for the finishing touch is we're just gonna take all the stuffing out so now you, as you can see the shoes has got its form back it is no longer no, no longer as creased as before very happy what turned out so it's gonna insert the insole back again all right so the insole nice insert the insole back and then uh, some of the finishing touch that i like to do is you know, have a shower some deodorant. You know, you gotta keep it fresh, bio fresh in this case. Some lavender. You know what I'm saying? All right, just give it a shake. Spray that shit in there. Three or four, make it nice. All right, so I'll make sure to drop down all the, um, you know, make sure to drop down all the products and name of the product and where you can find them in the description and you guys can buy it and try it out yourself especially if you have leather shoe that is very um, expensive and something that you want to last for a long time these type of uh, you know conditioning and cleaning steps are very crucial because you know in the long term you end up uh, saving more money and some things are just not replaceable you know what I mean um, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know the video is kind of like choppy and just kind of all over the place, but like I said, as I get better at these type of stuff, I want to make sure the production is a lot better and um, it's going to be a lot more proper and you know it's just easier to follow. But yeah, anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. We, I will be back. I'll try to post a video once a week of tips and tricks. And uh, like I was saying before, I'll probably post videos that whatever you like, right? So I'll probably post like a, um, a fashion vlog one day, vlog one day, or a strip vlog, or like a fucking mukbang, you know, we can eat, I can eat anything, like fried chicken or something like that. So that could be fun too, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, hope you all have a good day, and stay safe, alright?